Check this out. Check this out, guys. Isaac motions Dijon. It's not open. Pumps it. Boom! Launches the rocket up the sideline to Luca Calderella. Oh my gosh. Am I the only one? I hope you guys are feeling my same enthusiasm on your end. All right, what is up, Utah fans? This is Joseph back with the Utah Utes Football Digest. And today we're going to be looking at the film of Isaac Wilson from the Utah Forever 22 spring football game. Uh, I have not watched it back yet. I'm going to do, right after I finish this, I'm going to do a quick just skim through each drive before I break it down for you guys. But at this second, I have not actually looked at Isaac Wilson's film yet. So I, I remember the game and I've seen some highlights since then. So I'll just kind of give you guys my thoughts on what I saw and then we'll kind of see if the film matches what I, you know, what I remember seeing. So I saw a quarterback that was taking some risky shots for real. There were some bad throws in there. There were some double coverage throws. You expect that from a freshman, but I also saw a kid that made some awesome plays and a guy that looks like he could potentially be that next guy up. I thought he looked really good. And, and I think if you're uh, if you are buying Isaac Wilson stock, or if you've already bought it, you should feel pretty dang optimistic about the future. I'm pretty excited about the kid and I'm really excited to watch the film. This should be a ton of fun. Uh, before we dive in guys, please make sure you smash that like button. Also comment down below. What do you guys think of Isaac Wilson's film as we go through it? Um, I'd love to hear your opinions as well. If you think I'm being too harsh or not critical enough, I want to hear what you guys are thinking. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We put out a ton of Utah Utes football content. We also do a bunch of giveaways uh, on the channel, player interviews, stuff like that. Speaking of giveaways, I have a bunch of nice cards coming in the mail. I got Brant Keithy Autos. I got another Cam Rising Auto. I've got um, Devin Lloyd Auto. I've got some cool jersey patches too. I've got some really cool cards in the works. And even if you guys don't sign up for the Patreon, you can still get entered in the giveaways. But if you want a lot of entries into the giveaways, sign up for the Patreon. The link is in the description. And 40% of everything that comes to the Patreon is going right back to giveaways, right back to player interviews. If not more than 40%, I just guarantee 40%. So um, I'm excited to break everything down, guys. Sign up for the Patreon. You know, Donate what you can. That'd be awesome. Uh, but no matter what, I, I just love that you guys are watching and checking out the video. Uh, without any further ado, let's dive in. Let's look at the spring game tape of Isaac Wilson. All right, guys, and here we go. We are going to be looking at the Isaac Wilson spring game, Forever 22 uh, Utah football spring game tape. Uh, we're going to start with this first drive here. You know, I'm not going to touch too much more on it. Let's We'll take it one play at a time. We'll break down every play, and we'll have a lot of fun, guys. As we dive in, like the video, let's check it out. Okay, Isaac Wilson, first, snaps, first snap is a Utah quarterback. So let's check this out here. Okay, drops back, nice and patient, nice and calm. Okay, so this is a play where I think when I watched it live, I felt like it was very aggressive and very risky. Let's watch it back. Um, I don't know if I feel as strongly about the risk. Check this out. Boom. All right. So check this out. He throws it. Good job staying in the pocket, by the way. Good job staying calm. So right here, I mean, I think this might be a situation where is it a risky-ish throw? Yeah, yeah, it is. But he's putting it right where it needs to be. I mean, you look at that. Here's here's the guy he needs to get it over. Here's the guy he needs to get it under, and he gets it under there. Um, it, a little bit of a tough catch, but is it a shot kind of worth taking? I'd say yes. When I watch that, I think it's a shot worth taking. Tayshawn Lyons isn't able to pull it in, uh, but I thought that was a shot worth taking by Isaac Wilson. So for, for my money, I like that play as I watch it back. Watching it live, that's not how I felt about it. 
Uh, but watching it here, is it risky? Yeah, but I, I'm cool with it. I like the play. Um, let's actually, sorry. Let's watch that playback one more time. I just want to see, was there anyone else clearly open on this play that he just missed? Because that could be worth taking a look at. I mean, you could say, check this out. So you could say the delayed, uh, the delayed dump off gets open. So I think this guy chills back here. So this guy chills, Makai Bernard chills back there and then he gets wide up. I mean, that was a pretty wide open dump off, but it kind of gets open at the same time. Isaac makes the decision to go ahead and throw that route. So we'll hold that against him. Uh, e either way, I don't want to spend too much time on every play or I'll be here for five hours. But some of you guys probably wouldn't mind. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I thought that was a good play. Not, not a lot of bad critique on that one. He took a shot. It didn't work out. It didn't seem like a bad shot. Look at those. Uh, Oh, man, dude. Isaac Wilson was such a stud in high school. 66.5 completion percentage, 4,595 yards, 49 touchdowns, nine picks. Just a monster. And that was his senior year. Motions landing king inside. So this is a little uh, read option play. We'll run that back. So check it out. He gives the read option off. It looks like he makes the right call. If you guys watch the Brandon Rose film, you'll know that what you're looking for here is this edge rusher. You want to see, does he contain or does he crash in? He contains. Isaac Wilson makes the handoff. The play gets blown up by the defense, but Isaac Wilson made the right call. So it is what it is there. All right. And this is going to be the last play of this drive. Isaac Wilson drops back. It's a little just dump off. I didn't really see anything else. Uh, let's let's point out. Let's let's watch it back. And make sure there was nothing else there. But I didn't really see anything else. Just at first glance. Yeah, I mean, there not really anything else I saw. I also liked that he floated the ball a good amount to let uh, Dijon Stanley get the ball with the running start. So solid play. Uh, solid play there by Isaac Wilson. All right, we got the Lander Barton interview going on here, but uh, behind him, you could see the Isaac Wilson play. It'll it'll bring it on the screen here in a second. Isaac Wilson under center and drops back a little play action. Boom, takes his shot. Oh, man. Let's watch that one back. That's an interesting one. Let's check this one out. He is a, this is a shot downfield. Let's see. What else do we see? Okay, boom, play action. I don't see anything else. Early, I don't see anything else he really could have done. Okay. I mean, right there, this one more time. I, let's let's just run it back in full speed. I I mean, that looked like a pretty good shot to me. Is it a completion? Is it a little off target? Yeah, but um, I thought it was a good shot. I mean, you can't see everyone on the field at this from this angle from this shot, but to me, it looks like he had his guy basically one on one. He took a shot. Was it a little off target? Yeah. Is it also a spring game where there's going to be, you know, some off target shots because they don't have a ton of chemistry? Yeah, that stuff's going to happen. So let's take a look here. Let's watch it back. So it's going to be this little play action play, Isaac Wilson, and then he's going to take a shot down the deep middle of the field. All right. Boom. Play action over the top, takes his shot, one-on-one. -on -one. And you know what else I'm noticing? Isaac has a really good ability to kind of get it right over the defender. You guys noticing that too? Uh, I'm noticing he can get right over the defender. I think that's Daedron Zipper, if, if I'm correct. Uh, but he can get it right over the defender. The accuracy could be a little better so far, but we're still you know, quite early in the film. I think we're all aware that Isaac Wilson's going to have a, a couple highlight highlights before it's all said and done. Okay. Boom.
All right, Isaac Wilson in the shotgun. Drops back. Whew. I like that. I like that. Gets it to his guy. Even gives it, it's Landon King. Even gives him some space to make some plays after the catch. Let's run that back. Really good accuracy here. Hits it, puts the ball exactly where it needs to be. Boom. Yeah, and that was the open man. I mean, just to comment and not to make um, anyone feel badly, that's not the point of my next comment, but you can see, so, so far to the stat lines early on for Brandon Rose and Isaac Wilson look pretty similar. I'd say, yeah, I think they're not crazy different right now, but uh, let's be real. The decision making is very different. You can tell that Isaac's taking calculated shots finding the open man. And I, I'd say if you're an Isaac Wilson, if you have stock in him and as a Utah fan, you do, you should be pretty optimistic about that. Okay, just a little handoff play there. Boom, on to the next one. All right, Isaac Wilson in the huddle. Kanai Elopes out there. He was the guy that was listed as the backup for Levani Demuni. All right, Isaac Wilson. Okay, another handoff. Dijon Stanley. Okay, I don't remember that play. Dude, that was a nice run by Dijon Stanley. You know, what a running back room we have, guys. Isn't it fun as we go through this tape, we get to see the skill players make some plays too. I'm not dissecting them as much. That was a nice run. Seriously, that was pretty clean. All right, let's get to the next play. All right, Isaac Wilson, empty. See what you got, kid. Okay, a little pump fake. Rolls out. Okay. I want to watch that back just to see would this have been a sack in real life. Let's watch the back. Watch the D-line. Watch these guys. How much pressure do they create here? Would this have been a sack or would this have been? I mean, debatable. To me, that's not a sack. To me, he that's actually in pump faking, scrambling out of pressure. So solid play there by Isaac Wilson. All right, Isaac Wilson in the huddle. We got a nice little drive going here, right? A little momentum. And I like that he's hurrying up the guys. I like that type of field control. I mean, he knows he's the guy. He knows he's the future guy. And he knows people better respect that or they could transfer out. I'm just kidding. I doubt he's that that confident yet. But still, he has a good amount of enthusiasm <laughs> and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, control of that offense. I like that he's hurrying them to the line. I think that's a good sign for us as Utah fans. All right, Isaac Wilson getting back in the shotgun. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what you got, kid. Can you make a drive happen? Can you make something happen, Isaac? Boom. Dijon's not open. Bro. Okay. That play just became way more impressive. Okay. Check this out. Check this out, guys. Isaac motions Dijon. It's not open. Pumps it. Boom! Launches the rocket up the sideline to Luca Calderella. Oh my gosh. Am I the only one? I hope you guys are feeling my same enthusiasm on your end. This is way more impressive than watching it live. He like makes the whole defense bite on the flat route and then just bombs one up to Luca Calderella. What a freaking play, dude. Oh, this kid, he's looking good so far, guys. That's pretty exciting. So Let's point out a couple things where it could be better. Really, I mean, this is a great play. So he bombs it up, right? So he's getting it He's getting it over here between the safety and the corner. So this is where I'm going to point out a bit of a critique, okay? Look at all the grass in front of Luca Calderella. He should be catching this in stride and just kind of jogging into the end zone. But instead, he has to come back to the ball and catch it. How many yards is this? It's kind of across the field a bit. But we're going from the 30 or from the 40 here. And I think he catches it at about like the 15. So I think there's some some judgment, like some legitimate criticism here. He catches it at the 10. So that's only a 30-yard throw. Um, great play. Seriously, don't hear what I'm not saying. Awesome play by Isaac. But I think what you'd like to see uh, there, if it's me, is let him catch it in stride. Let him walk that, jog that into the end zone because it's only a 30-yard throw. You got to be able to make that and let your receiver, you know, catch it in stride and make the play. But either way, what an awesome uh, way to cap off that drive for uh, Isaac Wilson. I am freaking loving the tape so far. All right, guys, so here we go. This is going to be the final drive for Isaac Wilson. 
Um, a couple of nice throws on this drive. Okay, drops back. You can see there he did get some pressure in, but the pressure was not enough to actually count a sack in my mind. So we'll watch it back real quick, but um, it didn't look like the pressure was ever enough to actually be a sack uh, in, in a real game. It looks like he actually kind of steps up, does a good job of navigating the pocket here and does scramble. It's only a yard or two, but a uh, good scramble. So next play. This is a really good play. Um, Check this one out. This is a um, a really nice throw by Isaac Wilson. Boom. Just rifles it in there to Landon King, dude. And again, behind the linebackers, under the safety. That is Isaac Wilson's sweet spot. And I'm going to point this out. I want you guys to watch this middle area of the field. He's going to have Tayshawn Lyons open. He's going to have Dijon Stanley open or whoever the running back was. But um, – Landon King gets wide open. For most quarterbacks, this would be a bad idea to throw this throw to Landon King. But Isaac has a really good arm in the in the middle of the field here. He hits these throws over and over again. Even though those guys are open, this is a better throw. And uh, you can start to really see the arm talent here, guys. So that's just a dead dead play right there. And then on this next play, this is going to be – a uh, sack the the pressure gets back there to him it's technically like he throws a little incompletion but it would have been a sack he had pressure right in his face would have been a sack so all right all right we just had the moment of loudness uh to end the third quarter and now we're going to the end of the final drive for isaac wilson uh, another good throw coming up and uh, spoiler alert, it's a very similar throw to what we've kind of been seeing all day. He definitely has a specific throw that he really likes. This guy transferred out earlier today. Kind of sad. He was looking like a pretty good offensive lineman. Uh, but he transferred out. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Uh, I mean, he, he looked like he had a chance to be a starter. So I don't know if that's a good thing. Okay. Isaac Wilson leading the troops. Boom. Drops back. Bam, dude. Again, just look at that laser accuracy in the middle of the field. I mean, it is wild how good his arm is. I mean, this is a freshman quarterback, guys. And, yeah, he's not going against the starters, but look at this. I mean, that's the throw. Oh, my gosh, dude. That is such a nice freaking play. I uh, And, by the way, that's Jet Miney. The announcers call them Jet Mine. Uh, it's Jet Mine. He always love when uh, I know more about the Utah players than the announcers do. Uh, so that's cool. Congratulations, Jet. Great catch. If you're watching, man, I'm, I'm always rooting for you. All right, Isaac Wilson drops back. Boom. Okay, so that was a terrible throw. A lot of people are going to say it was the pass interference, but if you'd like to watch it back, let's go ahead and give it another look. Um, this is clearly the worst throw of the day for Zach Will or for Isaac Wilson. Boom, just lobs it up, double coverage. The safety's the safety's right there to just grab the interception. So really, really rough look uh there for Isaac Wilson. Uh I do want to go back though. I want to show you guys um where he could have went with this play. Just like I was critical of Brandon Rose, let's be real. Obviously, Isaac Wilson has a lot more good on his tape, but there's still – there's like this throw just – I mean, you got to think he's banging his head against the wall with this one. So, look at this. Look where he's going to throw it. He's going to throw that that deep right double coverage, and he's got his running back on the dump off. No one within seven yards of him. I mean – Clearly, that's where he should have went with this ball. I'm sure Andy Ludwig's telling him the same thing in the film room. The one egregious play of the day for Isaac Wilson. Still an awesome day by the kid. Cool. So I'll kind of end it there, guys. There's no real other throws on, on this play. Um but a great day for Isaac Wilson, man. I'm going to break down his grade and his overall performance here in a second. So just stick around. It'll be a lot of fun. And we'll, we'll break it down here in a second. All right, guys. So that was the Isaac Wilson film review. Personally, I was thoroughly impressed. If you guys have made it this long and you appreciate the breakdown, please smash that like button. 
Also, I'm about to give you my overall grade on Isaac Wilson's performance. It'll be anywhere from an A plus to an F. So before I tell you my grade, please drop your grade in the comments. I want to hear what you guys thought of his performance. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you mine now. Uh, for me, I thought Isaac Wilson had an awesome day. I, 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 I'm very impressed. Just even not counting in the fact that he was a freshman, it was a very good day. I'd give him a B plus. I think the reason it's a B plus was the egregious interception towards the end, the sack, where he just kind of held on to the ball too long. And then also the touchdown he did have to Luca Calderella. That's a little Calderella. It's a little nitpicky, but he did throw it behind him. Luca had to come back, catch the ball, and then fight his way into the end zone. And it was only a 30 yard pass. It was across the field, but still a 30 yard pass. So you'd like to see him hit his man in stride and get a touchdown. But for when you factor in, like I said, B plus, just flat grade, when you factor in that he's a freshman, it's real like an A, A minus. I was very, very impressed. Uh, he didn't have the that big interception, the really bad one. I know it was a penalty, but it was he still made the throw. Um, if he didn't have that one, I'd say it's very close to an A plus. Like it was, it was really good tape, guys. So um, a ton of fun there. I think you got to be optimistic about the future for Isaac Wilson. What do you guys think? Is he QB2 moving forward? That's kind of where I am. I think he's pretty clearly QB2. If that's if what we saw in the game is what's happening every day at practice, I can't imagine that he's not QB2. And I'd also say you got we should all feel pretty good about, you know, obviously we got to hope Cam doesn't get injured, but you never know. It's football, and if something did happen, I'd feel pretty good about that kid coming in to fill it fill his role for a couple weeks. So before we get out of here, guys, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also, like I said, the Patreon is live now. Please uh, do go become a member if you guys want to support the channel. It'll give you extra entries into the giveaways, a, a ton of cool stuff. Um, and it just really helps support the channel. 40% of Super Chats, Patreon, all that stuff goes towards player interviews, goes towards giveaways, and just reinvesting into the channel equipment all that stuff so if you guys do appreciate what i'm doing here please do uh consider donating to the channel it goes a long way all right guys i am out of here and go use